A community in Southern California is saying goodbye to a hero. Lori Kay was shot to death inside a synagogue during a Passover celebration on Saturday. Eyewitness News reporter Trang Doe is live in the CBS3 News Center with more on how the woman sacrificed saved a man's life. Well, Jim and Janelle, a rabbi, credits Lori Kay with sacrificing her life to save his, shielding him from the gunfire. She will be laid to rest today, a day after her community just outside of San Diego held a vigil to honor her. And this, as we learned of a local connection to the tragedy. A vigil Sunday evening in Poway, California. <laughs> Remembering 60-year-old Lori Gilbert Kay, who was fatally shot during Passover celebration Saturday. It's, it's really hard for us that we lose this type of person in our community. I hope that community will stay strong and will pick up the pieces. Kay died a hero, leaping between Rabbi Yisrael Goldstein and the gunman. Lori took the bullet for all of us. She died to protect all of us. President Trump called Goldstein on Sunday, offering condolences on behalf of the country. He spoke to me like a friend, like a colleague. He spoke to me like he felt for me, for my anguish and pain. The rabbi and two others were injured in the attack. My mind was racing, what's going on in Poway? Here in Philadelphia, Rabbi Haim Goldstein was preparing to host Drexel students for an end of Passover meal when they shared news of the shooting. The rabbi, forbidden from using technology during the holiday, only later learned his uncle was among those hurt. I was just concerned for him, but I knew that he is the man who was able to handle such a thing, God forbid, like, and afterwards when I heard how he handled it, I was nothing but, like, amazed and also not surprised at his reaction. The shooting suspect, 19-year-old John Ernest, was booked Sunday on one count of first-degree murder and three counts of attempted murder. The youngest victim, 8-year-old Noya Dehan, was hit with shrapnel and shared these words a day after the tragedy. The world isn't supposed to be like this. It's supposed to be peaceful and quiet and not with, like, wars and bad stuff. And police have not confirmed a motive for Saturday's rampage, but before the shooting, an anti-Semitic letter written by a person claiming to be Ernest was posted online on a message board. Authorities do not believe he was part of any organized group. But for now, we're live from the CBS3 News Center. I'm Trang Doe, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Jim and Janelle, back to you. Okay, Trang, thank you.